All right, so what I want to talk about now is just an overview of all the different ways of solving a quadratic form, a quadratic equation. What I mean by that is anything of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so we have four different ways at our convenience, okay? We have factoring, square root property, completing the square, and the quadratic formula, okay? We can use these methods at different times, and what I want to do is just talk about when we can use them, why they're good, and why they're bad, okay? So I'm just going to go down the row talk about each one. The check means pros, the minus means cons. Okay, so factoring. Factoring is typically the fastest and easiest way of solving something. When it's factorable, okay? There's often times we're dealing with a quadratic that is not factorable, so then factoring isn't going to help us. So it's fast and easy when it's us usable, but we're not always factorable either. Okay, so got fast and easy, but not always applicable. The next one we're gonna talk about is the square root property. Okay, um, this is when we have something squared. Okay, so with pro, it's great. You're solving for something squared. The only problem is that it's not always the situation we're dealing with, okay? Anytime you have a X term or something like that, we're not gonna be able to use it. So, not always a square term. So, it's great when applicable, but it's not always the case. It actually isn't the case very often at all. Completing the square, okay. The great thing about completing the square is we can always do it, all right? There will never be a time you won't be able to complete the square, but the downfall is, is that it can get ugly. If you're dealing with a coefficient or an odd middle term or something like that, you're going to introduce fractions. It's not always going to be the nicest situation. Lastly is the quadratic formula. It's great, again, because you can always use it. And cons, it kind of depends on the person. You're using square roots, which some people don't always like, but you always have to use square roots as well. It's not typically not as easy as some of these other methods. Completing the square, I would say it's a little bit easier than that. But it's something you have to remember. So you have to remember the formula. and can get ugly. So, just the four different ways, some pros and cons, some things to think about when you're solving a, a problem. I'm not actually gonna solve any out for you. Just made a little chart so you sort of have the resources that you, or sort of know the resources you have available and the pros and cons of each one.